Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. We've got a good number of questions today, so let's get right into it, starting with The Burner. And he says, do you like the droid arc in the middle of season 5? I don't. Um, do you know what actually, I, I kind of do. Like, I love all episodes of The Clone Wars, I just love some more than others. And um, there's, there's a couple things in that arc that are really cool, like, you can't get past, like, Clone Commander Gregor, that's, like, that's really cool, um, and it was kind of a fun mission, you know, um, I don't know, and I, and I think my favorite part was the guy that's like, no, you're a dishwasher, I just thought that was funny, like, sometimes there's, like, comedy in the Clone Wars that makes that show, I guess that's, like, the parts that are technically, like, for kids, that arc was probably more kid friendly so um yeah but anyways to answer your question yes i do like it i i mean i i like some arcs more than others like the bad batch for an example is way better so yeah all right and our next question comes from ek starlord and he says since we are getting a remake slash re-release of the death star final duel do you think we that ugh, man i can't i read i just i'm so bad at reading Final duel, do you think we will get more Lego Star Wars sets like this in the future, but with a few differences? Um, yes, honestly, I definitely do, especially if the final duel re-release or remake, whatever you want to call it, um, that has like a few minor tweaks. If that thing sells, of course Lego's going to make more because that's like, that's printing money right there. You get to make a Lego set and then 10 years later, however long, make it again but change like two little differences maybe add some stud shooters or stickers or something and call it new it sounds genius to me especially if it's a good seller like uh, i'm trying to think of a set like like if lego remade like quote unquote remade the gunship from like let's say 2009 but just updated the minifigures a little bit to look more like realistic but still have the clone wars vibes like, but everything else was the exact same, that thing would sell, but because it's, like, slightly new, but still the old one that we all know and love, you know? So, I don't know. I, I definitely think that LEGO might start doing that. Hopefully, they don't, like, drown us out with doing that, because that would get kind of boring. Like, if you want to do one or two sets like that a year, that'd be perfect, you know? Our next question comes from Esme King, and he says, What's your favorite droid vehicle? Mine is, mine has to be the MTT from episode one. Yep, I definitely agree. That's my favorite droid vehicle too. If not the MTT, maybe like the Vulture droid. Those are just really cool separatist ships that I like. So yeah. Our next question comes from Tree Man and he says, What next Lego Clone Wars set would you like to see next? I'm going to go with the popular answer here and say an MTT because, well... Like I literally just said, I love MTTs, and two, that's what everyone wants. If not an MTT, a gunship, but because we're getting a UCS gunship soon, maybe next year, I don't think that'll happen, so let's say MTT, and let's go for, let's really go for the popular answer, a Clone Wars style one, so like with the blue, that would just be cool. Anyways, our next question comes from EK Extras, and he says, have you seen the Lego Ninjago TV show? If not, I highly recommend it. Trust me, it's awesome. Um, well, you see, I'm not really a huge fan of Ninjago. Nothing against, like, anyone that likes Ninjago or, like, anything like that. But I just don't care about Ninjago. It's not my cup of tea, if you will. So, I haven't seen the show. And I don't think I'll be watching it anytime soon. Unless I get into Lego Ninjago. So, uh, yeah, we'll just end it there. So, but thank you for recommending it. And if you enjoy the show, then great. Uh, keep doing what makes you happy, right? So, anyways, our next question comes from Jedi, and he says, How did you get your name? Well, you see, when a mom and a dad have a baby, they need to call that baby something, or that kid when it grows up, so they give you a name, so that way they're not just like, hey, kid. No, I'm just kidding, obviously. Uh, you're talking about my channel name. Um, so, in real life, I just absolutely love this guy. I've always loved this guy. I don't really know why. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. Like, it's enchanting, if you will. Like, I just, I love looking up at the sky, even if it's cloudy outside. Like, it's just amazing. And, um, the name, the, the part, the Ren part comes from Kylo Ren back when episode seven first came out. 
I absolutely loved Kylo Ren and thought he was a cool character. I still think he's cool, but he just, he had so much better potential. And so I merged the two things together and created Sky Ren. But to my surprise, there's lots of Sky Rens out there. Like, I'm not the only Sky Ren. Who are you people? Um, so, and there's been Sky Rens before me and I'm sure there will be after. So it's nothing real fancy. And to be... To, to, just to tell you, in case you're curious, I'm the only Skyren that's me. There is no other channel. I don't have any other channels or anything. So if you think you found another channel that's me, it's not. Just in case someone thought that. I, I don't think anyone's ever thought that. No one's ever accused me of that. But I just wanted to throw that out there. So, yeah. Our next question comes from TBG. He says, do you like Marvel and DC? Yes, I like them both. I, I read that question last week, or like two weeks ago, I actually read it, do you like Marvel or DC, so I was going to still say yes, but yes, I like them both. Our next question comes from Lego Darth Vader Studios, and he says, have you seen the Harry Potter movies? If so, which is your favorite? Mine is The Prisoner of Azkaban. I don't know how to say that. I'm not a Harry Potter junkie, um, so if I said that wrong, I'm sorry if I offended you. Um, I don't know. I guess I like them all. I, I guess The Gauntlet of Fire is my favorite just because that one was like more like fun in the sense of it was kind of like about like games i don't know um i like them all i, I i've only seen all the harry potter movies like once though so like i'm not very educated on them and like i've said in the past i've never read the books i know that probably just offended some of you and i'm sorry so, yeah, I, I need to watch the movies again, huh? <laughs> and our next question comes from the Lego Porg, and he says, What is your favorite cereal? Well, honestly, truth be told, I don't eat breakfast, so I don't really care about cereal, like, even when it's not breakfast time. So, I don't really have one, but I guess if I had to pick, I would say Cinnamon Toast Crunch. How about that? I don't know if you have that cereal in the UK, um, but anyways, I'm going to turn that question around and ask you guys that. What is your favorite cereal? Comment down below. All right, and our very last question of the day comes from Jawa, and he says, What is your favorite music artist? My favorite band is 21 Pilots, and my favorite rapper is NF. I don't know who either of those are, so I do apologize. Um, but I guess I'm going to go with Gooseworks music. Her music is just absolutely amazing to me. I only just recently discovered her, which is quite funny, but there's a couple more, I guess, but I'm not going to bore you with all of them. I like a lot of music. So, um, yeah, but I'm going to go with Gooseworks music. I'll leave a link to her Bandcamp, like, page, I guess. Yeah, Bandcamp page, um, in the description so you can check it out if you are interested. Um, do it. I definitely recommend it. But so anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. So thank you all very much for your wonderful questions. If you have any other questions or more questions, um, drop it down in the comments below. Leave a like while you're down there and subscribe if you are new around here. Anyways, take care and have a fantabidozide. Okay, goodbye now.